Check out this text I just sent you. Let's get started. Yes, Father God, we're coming for you. That's good. What's this? Let's get started. It's time, it's time. It's a midday inspiration here with Pastor Barrett Barry of the Empower Living Church, the ELC. We're going to come together. This is the day six, day six of our six days of 21 days of fasting and praying, praying and fasting. And so we're excited about today. And thank you for joining us. Uh, this is really for my church folk. Well, thank you for joining us there on our website, empowerliving.church. And they're hitting the online tab, and my, that's where everybody was asked to go to today. So we're really excited about that. But those of you who are joining us around the world, well, thank you for joining us as we go through, fight through these 21 days of prayer and fasting. And it's exciting what God is doing. Just has some good news today. And I know today we're going to focus on healing. Day six is all about healing. Today we're going to discuss healing and really focus our prayer on that. We have some prayer points. It won't be before you long, just a few minutes as you, as you get started within the course of your day. Just want to get you continue to keep you motivated as we go through this season of the Daniel's fast and the financial fast as well. If you don't have the book, get this book right here. Get this book. Uh, it, it, it's 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 the uh, tw the twenty one day financial fast, and we're util utilizing this book written by Michelle Singletary. Get this book to assist you. This is uh, every day we're going to spend some time uh, going through this. This is day six, but today our prayer points today. Um, as we get started, our prayer points today for the Daniel's fast is to pray for physical healing of those battling illnesses and diseases and injury. Just pray for those people um, this today. Pray for them to increase, to have an increase in faith, to believe that God, with God, all things are possible. You can find this here on our website at Daniel's Fast Prayer Points. And the third prayer point for today, pray for the strength of their families and peace from the anxiety and fears associated with the illness and injury of a loved one. And so, we're making these prayers today. You know, a lot of things are taking place. COVID is rampant in our community. COVID is rampant in our cities. 400,000 people have passed away, but we're believing by God's good grace. Yes, by God's good grace that we're going to surpass those things. Matter of fact, while I have the book, while I have the book, I'm going to go to day six and see what my sister here says on day six today. Day six. Uh, boom. boom. Day six and for financial for those who are doing the financial fast, you can buy contentment. Ha! <laughs> Main point today is be content with what you love. Be content with what you love. And the pledge of today one is to stop complaining. Stop complaining. Stop it. Stop complaining. But the pledge today is today. I promise I will not complain about anything I don't have. Today I will promise not to complain about anything I don't have. That's what we're going to do today for our financial fast. Uh, our assignment today on day six for the financial fast is this. Make a list of at least three things you've said lately that express a lack of contentment. Some examples of those would be, I wish I had a bigger house. I don't have anything to wear. We never go anywhere. Stop complaining about those things. After you make that list, ask God for forgiveness for not appreciating what you have. Ah, clean out your house. You didn't think I was kidding, did you? Well, maybe not the whole house today is what she writes here. Instead, pick one room or a closet or toy bin and pull everything out. Sort everything into three piles. Keep it, trash it, and give it. 
give or throw away everything you haven't used in the last year. Woo, let's do that today for our financial fast. Uh, let's do that today. Let's be content. Let's not complain about what we don't have. Be, be assured that we've been blessed with so many things that it's not about what we don't have. It's really about what God has given us. Here's our websites again for the Daniel's fast and also the financial fast. God is really doing some amazing things. And I'm excited about our Lord and Savior today. So we have our prayer points, but I want to share with you scripture. We have a scripture reading today as well. Turn with me, please, to Psalms 13. Psalms 13. Let's go there. Psalms 13. Uh, and, and it reads the whole Psalm. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How, how will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look at me and answer, Lord, my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. And my enemy will say I have overcome and foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust, I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Ha! But I'll trust in our, um, your unfailing love, Lord. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praises for he has been good to me. Amen. Let's be reading today. Let's celebrate God today and how he's really been a, a, an amazing God and how he's continuously is good to us throughout all of our ups and downs, our shortcomings and our failures. But today we want God to be Jehovah Rapha today. We want to be the Lord that heals today. And so let's focus on God being the Lord that heals. He's known by many names, by many names, God is known by, he's known by uh, the most high God, El Shaddai. He's known by Elohim. I just, ha <laughs> ha, God all by himself. I call him God, but it was just God. Amen. He's been Jehovah Jireh for many of us. We've been the Lord that has been who's provided for us in the past. He's Jehovah Shalom. At times we need him to be the Lord is, is, is our peace. And then Jehovah Sabbath. He's the Lord of hosts. Lord Sabbath the Lord of hosts. And that's when he's a, a warrior God, when he's out there fighting for us, leading the armies against us, sending his troops in to be, fight war for us. And I'm so enthused about who God is in my life. He should be that in your life today. As we focus on the healing power of God, we're going to see him as Jehovah Rapha today. Turn me please to Exodus, the 15th chapter, Exodus, the 15th chapter. And uh, we're going to, read this passage here from the 22nd verse on down, but we're going to focus on the 26th and it reads, then Moses led Israel from the Red Sea and they went into the desert of the shore for three days, three days. They traveled in the desert without finding water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink its water because it was bitter. It was bitter. That is why the place is called, um, that's why the place is called Marah. So the play, the people grumbled against Moses saying, what are we to drink? Then Moses cried out to the Lord and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it in the water, being obedient, he threw it in the water and water became fit to drink. I want to focus. There the Lord issued a ruling and, and instruction for them and put them to the test. This is what God said to them. If you listen and instruction for them and put them, he said, if you listen carefully to the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his eyes, you will pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians from the Lord who heals you, the Lord Jehovah Rapha. Then they came to Elim, where there was 12 springs and 70 palm trees, and they camped there near the water. The day I want us to focus on this passage of scripture, verse 26, and it says, he said, if you listen carefully to the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his eyes. If you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not, I will not, hallelujah, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. The Lord says, for I am the Lord who heals you. Man, I don't know about you, but I want the Lord to continue to be the Lord who heals us. Amen. Amen. So let's 
get ready to pray. And I know this COVID is rampant. Poverty is increased. Food challenges are there. Unemployment is there. Uh, lacking of clients and businesses are there. Churches are clo closing. Businesses are closing. The world is going crazy right now. But I'm here to tell you that God still sits on the throne and he still loves us so much. And he makes promises to us. And one is that he will be with us to the very end of the age. And here's a promise from God that he gave to the children of Israel, God's chosen people. And I see us too as God's chosen people. We, we share within that with the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We are not grafted into God's chosen people, those who believe in him. And what the Lord says here, if we keep all his decrees and now will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians. Today we're praying for healing to take place in people's lives. Those who've been afflicted the day Hank Aaron passed away. I mean, uh, Hank Aaron has been a hero for many of us for many years. And he was a pioneer in baseball, but he also was a great businessman and also was a great ph philanthropist. And he was just a giving soul. And he's dearly missed. Uh, born in 1957 and transitioned here in 2000. And 21 on the 21st day or the 20th day of the year. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, just pause for a minute. This is part of our day six of prayer and fasting. And we're just excited about what God is doing. So if you would just pause with me, please. And let's just go before the throne of grace and then go on about your day. Go on, have a wonderful lunch. Go on. But let's believe God for him. Uh, let's believe God today for him and his power. Father God, we come before you, dear Lord, <clears throat> understanding that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Father. As we humble ourselves before you, dear Lord, as we come boldly, but only for the throne of grace, trusting and believing that you remain Elohim, God, and all by yourself, dear Lord. So we ask now, dear Lord, send out a special anointing of your power, of your authority, of your grace and your mercy, dear Lord. We ask you to be Jehovah Rapha in the lives of those who we love those who are in our circles of influence, those with whom we pass by today. Let the anointing of you, Father, fall fresh upon us. Let us be beacons of light, dear Lord. Let them feel the warmth of your love through us today. Make us vessels of your power today, Lord. Give us what to say, how to say, and when to say it, dear Lord. Let it pierce darkness with our words that you blessed us with today, Father. Let healing come. Let your love be restored in the hearts and minds of those, dear Father. Bless them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, Father. Give them mental health today that's strong and vibrant, dear Lord. Take away depression, dear Lord, and desire to take one's life today, Father. The life that you've given to us is yours, dear Father. How can we have be so arrogant to take it from you, dear Lord? Nah, uh -uh, God is yours. So, dear Father, today, we search to be more like you, to walk more in your ways, to, to follow your decrees and your commands that you blessed us with to empower us, dear God, because you love us so much. You have a promise that we will follow upon you, dear Lord, that you will heal us. So heal us now, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let the soul say, amen, amen. Hey, hey, family, this is Pastor Barrett. I'm ecstatic with what God is doing in the lives of you today. <laughs> Go forth and fight the good fight of the faith today. Don't hold back. Don't hold back today. Go out and get it. This is day six of 21. Let's go get it. Let's get busy for God. I don't know about you, but I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic because <clears throat> I know the God that I serve, the God that I love, he has already worked it out. No matter what I see <laughs> before me, I know that the path that God has created for each and every one of us, when he follow upon his decrees, it is illuminated. All right, that's enough time today. Come back tomorrow, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. on the West Coast of my West Side friends. West Side until I die. Anyway, love you all here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Be easy. Stay in the race. God bless.